everybody and welcome to another video and it is another Christmas video it is the fourth Christmas video and um, today I'm going to be doing a pig tree why because I love pigs that's why <laughs> yes I'm going to be doing a Christmas tree a small tree not like a huge tree but like a small tree with nothing but pig stuff on it so I'm super excited I have been picking up Christmas pig Christmas decorations all year. Every time I see a pig Christmas decoration, I've been buying it because I had this idea of making a pig Christmas tree. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to do that. But before we actually put the tree together, I'm going to show you the decorations that I got for the tree. And if I, it seems like I'm looking in the wrong spot. I set my camera, I'm using my phone, and my camera is down here here it probably should be up here I have it but anyway so I'm just like I'm just trying to look forward at the camera so <laughs> if it looks like I'm like looking over here I'm looking over there looking over there looking over there <laughs> it's because I'm not quite sure where I need to look <laughs> that's why um, but anyways let's um get straight into looking at what I got for my piggy tree so of course the first thing that I had to get was of course the tree <laughs> So I went to Walmart and I found this here tree. Um, it looks pink, like, so it looks pink. It looks pink. It is 32 inches tall. So, I mean, I guess it's as tall as this, this, the box, you know, so it's gonna be a decent sized tree. And I hope that it's pink like the picture because that looks fantastic and that would look great with my pigs. <laughs> it's coming right on out of the box. So I guess we'll just go ahead and pull it out of the box. Ooh. All right, well, it's white, so I guess the color is going to come from the lights because it's a fiber optics. So that'll be ooh, good. It has instructions because, yeah, <laughs> I'm not good with that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so we're going we'll to we'll have to put this together. <laughs> but I mean, it appears to just be a white tree. So I hope that it gets like that it looks, you know, more pink once it's fired up. But yeah, that's the... I mean, that's our tree. <laughs> so I'm going to be happy to put that together. <laughs> and the next thing that I got was... Ugh, ugh, the next thing that I got was the tree topper. I got this from Walmart too. It's kind of just like a sparkly little tree topper thing. No, I didn't get this from Walmart. No, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I paid... Well, it says it's $4.99, but it was on like half price sale, so like two fifty. Got this little got this little tree topper. Let's just pop him right out of his ah, there we go. Look at that. It's so cute. Now it's not really pig related, but my tree had to have a star and as of yet I have not found a piggy tree star. So I mean it you probably can't see in this light lighting too much. Let me see if I can zoom in. But it sparkles kind of a pink hue, so I thought it would work. You know, hmm, maybe I should glue a pig on there. I think I have a pig I could actually glue on there. Hmm, we might have to do this. It might be DIY time. Okay, and now for the DIY portion of the video. All right, I got this little guy. Isn't he cute? So I'm just going to be taking... Let me get over here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to be taking him off of this here keychain thingy. So prepare to be amazed at the skills of moi. There we go. Boop. All right. Got him off the keychain. Next. I'm going to got my handy dandy glue gun and we're gonna whoop, there we go and I'm going to attach him right here so I gotta wait for that glue gun to get hot okay so I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue there we go right there not a bunch not a ton of glue all right now I'm gonna take my little dude and his stro oh crap <laughs> Try and glue him on. There we go. Straight as possible. 
And voila. Oh, now we have a piggy star. Isn't that adorable? Yes, this is the the DIY portion of <laughs> of the video. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And the next thing I got, I got was this adorable little shining pig. I got this from Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I think it was like a dollar. Oh, it was 99 cents at Cracker Barrel. But look at that thing. It is so cute. When pigs fly, Lacey will have a pig Christmas tree. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? And he's so sparkly. <laughs> he's so cute. Yeah, I like him. He's adorable. And the next thing I got was this little guy. He's not really an ornament. He's like a keychain. But look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at it sparkle. I don't remember where I got this. Sing Born 6-1. I love to sing and dance, but no one understands my chance. He's so cute. I'll take his tag off. Ugh. Yeah, so I thought he would hang on the tree. Pretty good. Oh. His little tail goes, boing. <laughs> but I thought it would make a nifty little ornament, even though it's not really an ornament. But I thought it'd make a cute ornament, and I don't remember where I got him. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think, I think, what was, where did I, Big Lots. I think I got him at Big Lots. That's where it was. And I don't remember what I paid for him, but I got him at Big Lots. All right, and the next little ornament is this guy. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> and I got him at Tractor Supply. I don't know what I paid. Oh, five bucks. Four ninety nine. Any adorable. Yes. They brought in like some I went to different tractor supplies and they brought in different ornaments. Every tractor supply had a different ornament and they were always bringing in new ones. I mean that was like even at like Halloween they were bringing in ornaments. So I had been picking them up for a while. Any cute got this one. I actually got this one from um, John Lovin. He's a blacksmith and I'll, I'll link them in the description because they make a lot of really cool stuff. But um, what in the heck is the name of their forge? Their business. I can't remember the name of the business. I'm going to put it right here. Right here's the name of the business. Sorry, John. Sorry. <laughs> but this is what I got from them. Isn't it cute? If they stamp them custom. So I put Mr. Pig. They could put whatever you want on them, but put some Mr. Pig and they got a lot of different stuff, not just pigs, but I seen that and I'm like, I gotta buy that little ornament. It's custom made with Mr. Pig on it. So cute. And I don't remember what I paid for that either. I do not remember, but I, who cares? Thing's cute. This thing is adorable. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, you can't just have ornament ornaments. You have to have little baubles. Balls. Christmas balls. So, I seen these. These were at Walmart, and they were pink. They were three fifty eight dollars for these little deals of the pink baubles, because I thought we need pink baubles to go on our, on our little pink piggy tree. So, I got those. Those are so cute. Oh, here's another one that I got at Tractor Supply. Look at that. Isn't he adorable? Look at that little guy. He's so darn cute. And he's a bell. <laughs> he's so cute. I spent four ninety nine on him. Tractor supply. I mean, just look at that face, though. Look at that face. He's so good. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> he's so cute. And here's another one that I got at Tractor Supply. Also four ninety nine. Look at that. Whoa, 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 slow down, little, whoa, slow down, little piggy. Look at that guy. Isn't he cool? Look at him. He's so wise and majestic looking. <laughs> he's so cute. He's also a little bell. Actually, he reminds me of, you know, like, Marley and Marley. <laughs> if you've seen the Muppets Christmas Carol, I don't know why. He just kind of, oh, no, you know what it is? It's the door, the door knocker and the beginning and the, Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, if you've seen the Muppets Christmas Carol, which is the only Christmas Carol that I like, <laughs> it just reminded me of the door knocker. So I need a pig door knocker. That's what I need for sure. But any adorable. 
All right, and I got this, and this one I think I actually got last year, and I want to say it was from Hobby Lobby. I believe she... <laughs> there. <laughs> she was from Hobby Lobby. Isn't she adorable? Little flying piggy princess. She's so cute. Look at that. Oh, and I have no idea what I paid for this, but she's very heavy. She's super heavy, but I'm pretty sure I got her from Hobby Lobby. And then I also got, now this one I did get, I got this one at Walmart and it was $1.98. $1.98, people. Look at her. Look at her. She is fabulous. Isn't she fabulous? Little ballerina piggy. Oh, She's so cute. <laughs> I think most of my pig decorations did, in fact, come from Tractor Supply because they get the greatest stuff. But here's another one. I got this one last year. This one literally looks like a ham that's been gift wrapped. <laughs> but isn't he cute? I got him from Tractor Supply. I'm going to guess you they were probably five bucks. That's what just about all of their ornaments are, five bucks. But look at him. He's so cute and fat. <laughs> Little fat piggy. This one, da, da, da. Of course, I got it at Tractor Supply. Look at that. Santa riding a pig. Look at him. Look at ham. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, I got this. Look at this beautiful box. I got this at, uh, um, oh, I was just there. We're... <laughs> It's Patty's 1880s, Patty's 1880s settlement. It's this beautiful Christmas village they have over there. And um, I guess it was on like Great American Light Fight or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but it was on one of those shows. Um, but it's beautiful. They've got just, it's like a whole village and it's beautiful. They've got a big restaurant. They've got a big lights display. They got Santa Claus. They got little shops. Really neat. But while I was there, I walked right into the store and they had this display of these beautiful, like the old classic handmade ornaments. And I was like, there was one with a pig. There was a pig one. And I was like, I want that ornament. I'm getting that ornament. I'd seen a couple of other piggy things in there, but it didn't really jump out at me. But I was like, I want that ornament. And so I told them, I said, I want that ornament. So they had to go to the back to find my ornament. Well, while they were back there, I, uh, <clears throat> I looked at the price tag of that ornament. And I was like, that's a $60 ornament. I'm like, I'm paying $5.99 for my pig ornaments. But this is a handmade. It is. Let's see what it says. It says, each and every Christmas Radco ornament is a work of, of heart inspired by all the seasons magic handcrafted in Europe as a beautiful keepsake. It's you and your family who will make this piece treasured a will make this piece a treasured heirloom. So here we are. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not absolutely adorable worth sixty dollars i think so <laughs> i think so i mean it's gonna be an heirloom it's gonna be an heirloom and it actually the guy told me when i bought it that um if it breaks they'll replace it so that's worth something so but i was like yeah that that's that's this is this is pretty special i'm pretty pretty happy with this little guy. He is so cute and he will be treasured forever. Yes. And he's, he, he goes back into his little box very carefully because <laughs> yeah, that's like, I don't have very many heirloom, anything. So, so he's, uh, he's pretty special. It was nice back in the day, you know, I mean, not back in my day, my day we did. Actually, when I was a kid, we had, um, a few ornaments that looked like this and they probably were handmade but over the years we lost them and now we we don't have too many ornaments that are really worth anything other than you know nothing that's old most of all of our ornaments are 
Actually, we lost all of our ornaments when we moved to Kentucky. Long story. I think I, I think that I'm. I told the story about what happened when we moved to Kentucky in my um, catch up video from the um, beginning of the year. So, but anyway, <clears throat> so we lost all of our ornaments, and so most of our ornaments that we have are only a couple of years old. But I'm very excited to have this. He's adorable, and he is. Yeah, he's gonna be around for a while. So. I'm happy with my purchase from this one. He's so cute. Oh, I also have this. I got this. And this is actually supposed to hang outside. Like, it's one of those little, you know, sign hanging thingy majiggies. It's supposed to hang on that, on like a bird feeder looking, whatever the heck. Anyway, isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? He's so cute. But I think instead of hanging him outside, I think I might hang him on the wall, maybe behind my Christmas tree, behind my piggy tree. <laughs> So isn't he adorable? And he's got like, these are like sticking out. Oh, he's so cute. I actually said I would hang one of these thingies outside um, if I found one with a pig. And this one I found at uh, Rural King. So I was super excited to find that. So, but I think I'm going to hang him inside because I don't think I want to hang him outside. Poor little piggy. He doesn't need to be outside. He needs to be inside where he's toasty warm. So, um, I guess we'll go and, um, try to put our tree together. So I'm super excited. I've been waiting for a while to, to do this tree <laughs> and, um, we actually have our regular trees already up, but I wanted to film the doing of the piggy tree. So I didn't have it up yet, but I'm excited to finally get to do that. So, um, you've seen all of the decorations, so there's nothing else to do, but go put the tree together. All right. So come with me. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is put this here tree together. Did I read the instructions? No, I did not. But I think, uh oh, <laughs> I think I can figure it out. I'm pretty smart. At least I think so. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Um. Well, I, okay, all right, all right, all right, there we go, ta-da, okay, so I think, there we go, oops, dog is trying to eat the base of my camera, of my camera stand. Come on, you slide in there. There we go. Okay. I know these. I think they're supposed to slide. Oh well. We call that good. <laughs> I'm going to have a skirt over it anyway. There we go. Oh, the dog leaned my camera. There, no, uh, there. All right, well, you can't see the, the whole of the tree, but you see the part where I'm working on it anyway. Okay, now I guess we'll just take. Stop eating the bottom of that. Hey, quit it. How she looks lit up. If I can plug it in, ready, set, go! Ta da! Aww. Look at that. My 
little piggy tree. Isn't it so pretty? Look at that.